What? What? No, no. Crow has got its own uh, prey state now. It can apply prey state on targets. So it, technically, if you use something that. What? What is happening here? What is this square? <laughs> First of all, yeah, so it's still the same. Erosive arrow no longer applies erosion. That needs to be changed. All right, repulsive burning arrow, nothing changed. Erosive covering, erosive has lost its erosion. Distance acuteness, distance acuteness. Oh, this is the, f no. Immobilizing heals now. Oh, wow, water steel. Right, so water damage has become water steel. So the chance root now can um, steal uh, HP, just like the first line of, um, what is it called? Arrow of Judgment. And you can tell they've changed it because in the color of the thing it used to be just blue, but the moment you have uh, red in the middle of something, it tells you that it steals life, it's a healing spell. Sailing doesn't look changed at all these two were variants okay the tactical beacon and the recall beacon why does the recall beacon look like it does heal tactical beacon 1 to 10 so the tactical beacon has not changed the recall beacon now switches positions heal 10% max and then it disappears so the recall beacon is so interesting now I see what they've done a priori they are forcing Kras to play a beacon you can't not play a beacon but you could already play Lark Mirror in the past eye for eye heals now no, <laughs> no, what, <laughs> what, 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 hold on, I went a bit too fast, so here, a priori, I would, uh, depending on the fight, if I'm playing sort of PvP or sticky PvP, I'm like a quest fight, recall beacon would be interesting because of the heals and uh, swap mechanic, so you can run away further by casting it. It has a fixed range, so six range, but you can push it. So recall beacon is interesting. Tactical beacon is also interesting for normal PVM, like an extra lock mirror. But so far, I haven't seen anything interesting there. Fire damage at the end of the target inflicts great fire damage. Yeah, yeah, nothing has changed. So number of casts per turn, per target, two. Exploding arrow is back. Let's go. Exploding is back to two stacks. Maxed effect. Ah, I see what they've done with exploding arrow. So now you can stack it twice like you used to in the past, which was mwah, like a combination with a tank, a panda or something. You can stack two of those on the tank panda and both of them explode next turn. No, max effect accumulation is only one. So you can only use it three times. You can stack it twice, but max effect accumulation, we need to test that. No, this is awesome, dude. What the hell, Gluto? Where did you know that from? What? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> so now you're forced to play with at least one beacon. You can't not play with any beacon. You have to choose tactical or recall. I think recall looks more interesting because of the heals and extra mobility. You can choose not to play with Lark Mirror, but if you choose Eye for an Eye, you still have another beacon that you can play. So you are forced to play with at least one beacon. You can't avoid it. And these two have become variant of each other's. Now, why the hell? Let me let me think about this out loud and excuse me if my train of thought is all over the place. You used to have one spell that would buff your crits and give you fixed power. And it would also affect weapons for this new update. And now it's back to just spells. But they've added 100 pushback damage. So you have to choose between crits and small damage, which is the 3 AP base crow. Uh, crit multi-element or right I see it I think I see it I think I do see it so you can play a crit crow that deals slightly less damage by losing 300 power on all of its spells but can still deal high damage nonetheless because you have the 60 damage and you have all the crits or this is a PVM and this is a PvP variant so the powerful shot is a PvP, vari uh, PvP variant now Concentration still looks the same, destructive bolts still the same, bad sign no longer heals, so you still can reveal entities. So they've moved the heal from bad sign to immobilizing arrow. Little swap. Okay. Uh, withdrawal arrow still the same, lashing arrow pushes back 10% erosion. Okay, so this might be 
I think they might have leaned into the pushback Kra to make it more viable to equalize all elements. So you would play power and pushback damage. Remains to be seen. Piercing shot for AP 113. Nothing changed a priori. Devouring. I really hope you're not right, uh, Smurf. Max effect accumulation 3. You lied to me. You can still cast it twice a turn. <laughs> Arrow of Judgment. Unchanged. Unitive. Now, Eye for an Eye looks really interesting. Seals range from enemies, repels the targets, and applies the Eye for an Eye state. That's still the same. You still range, you push them two cells, and if they hit you, then they get pushed two cells per line of damage. If the target is an enemy, repeals the target if they attack the caster, and seals range from the target. Nothing changed there. If the target is an ally, repels the target's enemy attackers and seal ranges, so you can give it to your ally. So the only thing that has changed is now it heals, 20, heals the attacker by 25% of damage suffered. Right. So we have done this one. This does not look changed a priori. Nothing changed here. For me, can still crit. Good news. Increases the damage by 10. The spell's damage increased by each hit. Rebounds on the nearest enemy in a two cell circle. Can also rebound on beacons, okay. Nowhere does it say max accumulation, they've reduced it, okay. So they've reduced the max accumulation from 5 to 4. So this is a big nerf for um, Fulminating Arrow. In essence, in its best, if you deal max damage with it, they've removed 20%, 25% damage on the final hit. So it's like a 25% damage reduction on Fulminating Arrow. Explosive is still the same. OP, 3 cells. Let's get rid of Cloudy so we can equalize damage and fix it. Get rid. Ah, just go away. I just need to see whether it stacks or not, but it looks like it does stack. It does not stack anymore. So 658. It does not stack anymore. Max effect accumulation is one. <laughs> oh, why? Why can you stack it twice, but only one piece of damage lands? What? What is this? What is this? It does AP reduce, but I'm trying to see what does it mean that you can stack it twice. Oh, I see. I see how they've designed it now. I see how it's designed. No, 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 no. No, the damage does not stack and the AP reduction does not stack. The highest AP reduction will be the one that will stay. So, here's how it's designed now. I will hit a target twice. And then I'm able to stack one. And then I've lost the use of the spell. And then it will explode on them. But if I stack two, they still get hit the same amount. About 700 damage. That's it. So you can't stack it. Right. Let's have a look at eye for eye. Eye for an eye. Uh, I'll just make sure that I do have it on. Actually. Eye for an eye. You come here. Okay. All right, so so normally how it works is if I place it on myself and hold on, let's just test it on this guy. What? It didn't push them immediately. Cells to range pushes back to cells. It didn't repel the target. I think it's bugged. But normally if I deal damage, I should be pushed back. But let's have a look at the actual lines of damage. There should be some heals in there. Huh? What? I'm confused. Right? So, will I get hit? Oh! oh. No! 78, so 80 times 4 is 312. No! Ah. Uh. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Cry has got its own uh, prey state now. It can apply prey state on targets. So it, technically if you use something that- What? What is happening here? What is this square? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? So technically you can apply prey state and so the spells that can heal from the craw will heal 25% 
of the damage plus 50% of their own damage. So I, it's too soon to say anything, Gizm, but so far I'm absolutely shocked at what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> Kra has spray state. It's the equivalent of this spell right here from the Uginak. Like where I place it on an enemy, I get 25% of the damage I deal back as heal, right? So now the Kra has it for two turns. For the entire fight, as soon as it goes, you can cast it again. And with big spells that steal life to begin with. <gasps> and then you can just cast it again. Kra has infinite prey state. They will change it back, yeah, because no way. Hold on, what are you saying? I like it, please make Kra not just a damage bot, okay? <laughs> can you stack M uh, uh, up Enu plus Kra plus Ugi? 25% That's a really good question actually and the answer is I do not know and we're about to find out right now <laughs> So here's the test that we're going to run if we have this thing right here if I wanted to damage it now 82 to 90 If we put vendetta on it, oh well eye for eye sorry and then prey state and then mind fire <laughs> this is insanity so what pooch am i damaging is it this one is it this one so this one this one has 25 percent damage uh, dealt recovered from the crow 25 percent damage suffered recovered from um uh the enotroph and the same, 25. So technically I should recover 75% of every damage that I deal. 32, 24, it works. <laughs> it stacks up, it stacks up. <laughs> oh, well played, Sevi. That is a really good catch. <laughs> yeah. Those of you that want to see the math, 60 divided by 82 is about 74, 75%. That is outstanding. Boom. Um. This. 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 And this should be it. 2200. Right, so what do we have here? Let's, let's analyze this really quickly. What we have here, essentially, is... So, 999 from the damage that we've dealt with 3 AP. So that was the spell dealing damage, retreating. And then because he was pushed uh, against the wall immediately, he sustained 211, which comes from 150 from the pushback damage that we've increased uh, from the spell. And the three lines he never got. Uh, three lines uh, of push he never got. Then you have the two tyrannicals, one for pushing one cell, which is this uh, green one. And then the pushback damage dealt another one. So with three AP, you can cast up to four lines of damage. Just think about that in PVM. If you can get buffs from other sources or you can combine with other classes. Like if you play, I think I can foresee a sort of new meta around. Do you remember how uh, Sadis used to play the infected state only for one Sadi to deal big damage? I think that could be the new farming meta for Kras. You play a handful of Kras, but you'll play like two or three that are pure buffs for the one that deals mega damage. And then the others sort of prep the tyrannical state, uh, give it vendetta, uh, make sure that one of the cross can deal big, big DMG. But as far as the normal PVM one, I don't think it has changed as far as damage. Because if you play the crit set, the normal crit set, you're still playing around this and these bad boys. This one has gotten buffed, so more AoE, even better. It won't let me I'm not a